Sure. Um, congratulations to Springfield, Coach Brock. They, um, you know, he's been doing it a long time, and it shows the way his guys played in this kind of game. Um, and they're just, you know, really worthy opponent, great team. We wish them the best of luck. And then also, just a, we said in the locker room, just a lot of gratitude. You know, when we're in the middle of the season. Sometimes you got to get some tunnel vision and uh, don't always see, don't recognize people around you helping you. And um, you know, our fans, uh, the people around the athletic department helping out this weekend, putting on a great event. Um, we're just really, really fortunate and um, feel thankful, even though we're feeling a little pain right now. I'll open up for, for, for questions. What changed second half? You guys had a seven point lead at halftime and then uh, kind of went away pretty quickly. What did change coming out of the break? Um, I, th I think a credit to them. You know, we, you know, watching them on film defensively, we thought we had some advantages we could exploit, and I think they really stepped up their defense, uh, especially you know inside presence and you know really playing physical and stopping us inside. And uh, I think we were you know attacking, maybe lost a little attack there for a while. Um, but again, I think, I think really a credit to them. I don't think we did anything differently. I think they did a really good job. I might feel differently when I see the film, but that's what, that's what it seems like right now. Zach and, and Robert, what's the, what are the emotions you guys are feeling right now? Uh, I don't. I don't even know how to describe it. Um, you know, a lot of gratitude to all the guys I've played with. You know, all the four years I've been here, there was a lot of great guys. So a lot of gratitude for them. A lot of gratitude to um, Coach Landry and all the rest of the coaching staff. And um, all you know, all our parents, all our fans who've been supporting us all the way. So. I think that's the uh, big one right there. Just thinking about all the people who've been helping me over the years. Um, we're leaving a culture that's incredibly strong and going to be that way for years to come. And right now I, I feel um, sad because I'm not going to be able to you know, contribute directly like in the locker room every day and in practice every day and in the weight room. But... Um, I can't wait to be a fan, and I can't wait to be part of the Swarthmore basketball family for years to come. Um, so for that, I feel proud, um, but right now it's it's hard to deal with. Are you able to have any sort of ability to look at it and say, you know, the year before you guys got here, you got one eight games, like three or five in the conference, and then to, to leave on, on this note, is, is that something you're able to kind of process at this point? Or? I mean, you know, <clears throat> I think it's hard because, you know, we always wanted to do more, and even though we did a lot for the program, like I still feel like we we fell short in some areas, and we could have done more. Um, and that's just me being a competitive person. Um, right now, it's hard to look at the big picture and see, you know, um, that everything was like how how much we grew in the four years we were here. Um, but it'll it'll definitely be something that I look back on and, and, and feel proud of, for sure. What, what was it like to, I mean, you get to, to close it out here at home and to have that student support, like even after the buzzer, they were they were really supporting you guys. What, what was that like? Uh, it's absolutely incredible. You know, I mentioned earlier, all the fans have been, have been um, supporting us um, all these years we've been here. And um, it was really great to see, you know, alumni of the program out there and um, other people in the student body and the community coming out and supporting us. It's a really, really special thing we have. I think um, if you look at the people in the front of the stands, there are my old teammates, um, either from years past that have graduated or guys that have had to stop playing due to injury. Um, they're, they're in the front cheering us on. They, you know, they made the trip up to Wesleyan to cheer us on. And, and that's what's special about our program. I don't know, you know how many other schools are going to have their three or four graduating classes in the front row cheering them on and I think that's just a credit to how close we are as a family and, and like the culture we have. Coach, as Josh mentioned the wins before these guys got here, how yeah. instrumental have they been to building that culture and building the winning that's happened here in the last couple of years? It just depends on how high instrumental goes because I mean they're, you know, they learned you know, their freshman year, we had one senior, Carl Barkley, and he was like a mother hen to these guys. There were, there were six of them at the time, and um, you know, we lost a few along the way, but these guys have been here the whole time, and um, just 
learn from Carl and the other guys that graduated since then just about what it means to be a leader. So now they've got like a pretty picture perfect idea of what it means to, to lead. And we talked a lot about how good you know these two and Jim and the leadership was this whole year, every single day. And um, it's a hard thing to do. We ask a lot of them, but they did it uh, as well as you can do it. Zach, from, from that leadership standpoint from these two, and, and from the whole senior class in general, is there anything like specific that they would do that you thought really was, was effective in terms of leading their team? Yeah, I think. Oh, he's a, he's, yeah, yeah, Sam, yeah. I mean, these guys did it all. Uh, first one's in, last one's out every day, just leading us vocally. Uh, by their actions, they're leading us. I mean, specifically, I could go through a bunch of things, but they did it all for us. Anything in your mind that really stands out? Just their talk every day. They brought the energy um, from in, thro showing 30 minutes early to practice to uh, stretching. These guys were always talking, always leading us. And coach, what did you say in the locker room after the game? What was your message to the team? Um, that it's painful now, but also we'll look back. And Ryan Ansel, our assistant coach, said to like in our body of work, we have a lot to be proud of. We don't feel it now because we were close to uh, you know advancing in the NCAA tournament, which is always special. Um, but that we had a, I mean, obviously the best season in Swarthmore basketball history, but just um, we did it, and our other assistant, Shane, said it. Like, we, it's not so much that we got the wins. I think it's how we did it. I think, you know, us being who we are and the way we do it, and as Zach mentioned, our culture, I think it inspires people to watch us, and um, I think that's really going to be the legacy from this season, not that we finished, you know, three games short of what we wanted, but just – that we did that did things the right way. I just ask Zach, um, you're, you're coming back. Obviously, it's a little close, and I'm sure it still feels bad. But what are you going to take out of this experience as, as you become one of the leaders of the team going forward? Um, I mean, it hurts right now, but looking back, we're going to enjoy it in like a week or two. Um, we're going to reset our goals, get all together, just work in the off season. Remember this hurt in the off season. We're going to come back and. Hopefully, be in this spot and even better next year. So. And, sure. And what did you learn out of this weekend? Obviously, this is an experience not a lot of teams get, and, and now you have it going forward. What did you learn this weekend? Um, we just have to be us, really. I and mean, we got here being us um, throughout the season, this weekend specifically. Like, yesterday, we were us. We, we did our culture, we did everything we do every day of practice. Um, what we do works, and we just got to stick to it. Uh, Zach and Robbie, yeah. Do you guys have jobs lined up? Do you know what's what's coming next for you guys? Are you trying to continue your pro ball career? And do you know what the next step is? Um, I, a couple weeks ago, I accepted a job at Moody's Analytics out in Westchester. So I'll be um, about 30 minutes away from here. So I'll be coming back to watch a lot of games. Moody's, M-O-O-D-Y? Moody's, yeah. Okay. Doing, analytics. doing what? I'm doing uh, credit analytics. Okay. And uh, I accepted a job to teach in New York. City um, with Success Academies, um, and I also am applying to a program in Ireland to help play in uh, for the school. So, one of those. What's uh, what would you teach? Right now, it's it's a uh, middle school. Um, I don't really know the specifics. They like train you over the summer, and then they place you somewhere. So, I'll be in. They have schools in four out of five boroughs in New York, so it'll be somewhere okay. in the city. Hopefully I'll get a chance to coach too.